Hi guys! Hello. Welcome to Zande. <laughs> Welcome to Zande. This is yet another episode. Um, I'm Sneku Kungwenya. And I'm Yolisa Poswa. And I'm Mpum Zinonjinga. And basically today we're going to talk about a really touchy topic. Okay, but a serious, not serious. Ooh, topic. it's serious. It's okay. quite serious. Okay, okay serious topic. Um, so, um, so today basically we're going to discuss and we're going to unpack masculinity in African cultures and African households and basically the whole construct of it we'll try and trace it back right till pre like post-colonialism, pre-colonialism and how it's affecting us now as millennials so and how does it affect us specifically? yeah, like yeah. The of as like yeah. so basically I don't know, I don't know how we're gonna structure it, but maybe I should start because I'm somebody that's looking from the outside. Um, so I have a different perspective from what you guys obviously have. Yeah. Um, when I think of masculinity <clears throat> in African culture, I think of um, hierarchy, I think of power, I think of... Patriarchy. Patriarchy, I think of rape culture, I think of... <clears throat> Um, dominance. Dominance, yeah. Dominance mm. is a very strong one. I think of exploitation. I think exploitation is very important mm. because um, I know there's been... I was in some sociology tat and there was this girl who was so adamant that the reason why there's this femicide against um, women, of course, because that's what a femicide is. But yeah, <laughs> the reason why there's a femicide is because black men um, were stripped off their masculinity or their power How? by by white by white men. So in the colonial. the whole, the whole colonial pro project okay. um, stripped them of their masculinity and their power, and therefore that was what, according to her, that's what is causing them to to um, try and affirm that they are still yeah, strong by to rebel. Right. Wow. Basically, I think it's utter nonsense because like black men went alone when the white people were decolored were colonializing um africa as a whole black men went alone and literally black women have been the dust of the dust of mm. the dust mm. from the beginning so we were the dust of the before dust. like of the dust. yeah of the dust of the dust of the dust we were the dust before colonialism we were the dust during colonialism we're after. still the dust mm. okay. so if and then Tinaktua like, were angry for no reason. So I don't know, like that's basically how I think of it. Like it's it, it's a lot of when I think of masculinity, especially in African um culture, it's it's a it's a very toxic space. And for me, can like patriarchy and masculinity go hand in hand. They do. Yeah, for me, they I do. can't they I do. literally do. cannot yeah. divorce them. What's and it's quite it's quite painful to actually admit that. Yes, we might be in Cape Town. Yes, we might be the new like millennium, um, millennium right now saying, guys, we hate patriarchy, patriarchy yeah. must fall. Yeah. Whereas some of us, when we go back to the Eastern Cape, mm. Mm. it's something that we return to. Mm. And it's quite evident, yeah. even at our households, but we are yazi. Even when you're serving food to your dad, like serving food to the yeah. family, yeah. you start with your dad, who's like, yeah. you pray, you go, like, yeah, yeah, I know, know, you know the things that must be done. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's just so painful how. Um, patriarchy is so inherent in our culture mm -hmm. like it's like now all of a sudden patriarchy and respect goes hand in hand Gandhi it's not like if I speak up for myself as a woman and I'm like actually you know what you're not the head of the table and I'm not gonna take that bullshit that I'm the neck because you know, mm. what's going on um, all of a sudden now I seem disrespectful you seem like um, better than thou when it's something that has always been evident for a long time we don't need to have feminist readings we don't need to come to university and engage in these conversations mm. to know that the world is not equal yeah like we don't need to do that so i i just think it's so irritating because of course when you go back home um there's the girls the younger girls the women then there's the men, the younger men, and the, the boys. boys, and yeah. like, for example, when I go back home and I'm serving people, like, definitely my guy cousins are gonna have the biggest piece yeah. of the meat. Definitely, I. That's true. That's <laughs> I'm true. trying to eat as well. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a drumstick. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, even a wing. We start to jump to like you wing your people. Ah, chama kare. But no, it's so true that you say that um, like patriarchy and masculinity is inherent. Mm. Yeah. Like you re- so inherit that thing like deeply because I know back at home that I've inherited it. Yeah. And I admit I've inherited it because I'm the firstborn. Yeah. Um, I have a sister and a younger brother, and I know ba wa utiada kwenye kuko. They say John. Even now, even when there's like ceremonies, meet them, be nento 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 nya yasba. I'm a daughter. Kawa kuba imitate on Yeah, it's quite, it's quite deep. And it's actually quite scary because before Cape Town, before Varsity, I never knew patriarchy. I would see the word, but I would never. The thing know. Is, yeah, is so I would true, never guys. know the definition well, until I came. To Cape Town, yeah. it's scary. It honestly scares me, and I, I have this thing of teaching my younger siblings and younger cousins oh, yeah. that listen, <laughs> you are power as a woman. Mm. Do not step down just because of your daughter. Mm. And when Yolisa says that, like he only encountered patriarchy as a word here. He means it like as a term, yeah. Because, like yeah. I said, it's something that is happening all yeah. the time. Yeah. But now we have the privilege and we have the Education. opportunities to yeah. come to this, these yeah. institutions and to actually analyze and actually, um, like problematize and actually discuss yeah. and have and have these big fancy words yeah. to explain things that have been going on our whole lives. I- like. And that's why it's so important, guys. If you are educated and uh, and made aware of something, then you should mandate yourself and put a responsibility upon yourself to try and inform other people. Mm. Because mm. nyan nyan mm. isn't raising Jaina. They need to like end because they are totally oppressive to some other people. Yeah, of course. Totally oppressive to some other people. Yeah. Of course, because like I know when a lot of people speak about patriarchy, they just think woman, man. There are no binaries. Yeah. Like there's some people who don't fall in those binaries. Like why are they even binaries? Why are we even saying they fall out of the binaries? Because that's further excluding them. Yeah. So um, I think I was watching one of um, Siv's um, Ishpin Siv. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, Siv Grayson. Talking about how we are all problematic. Yeah, it's true. Each and every one of us are problematic. Yeah. You know, it's nice for us to just be out here and for me to be like, yeah, I know feminism, what, 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 what. But feminism is very exclusionary, mm. to be honest. Mm. Like, the words that we use, the terms that we use are very exclusionary. And so is just this fight of patriarchy also brings in sexuality mm-hmm. that we never think of. And it's just... Well, actually, it's, it's tiring. It's a lot. <laughs> but also, another thing we need to talk about is like the different shades of masculinity. Mm-hmm. Like when I say shades, I mean if, when, as a man, don't have certain qualities or okay. act in a certain way, mm. then in masculinity, yako are yako basically yeah. because you do not fit yeah. the constructs that the society has done like has yeah. made for us yeah, it has defined yeah. us mm. being a man mm. this kind. and it starts like from the beginning it starts from the beginning baby boys wear blue baby girls yeah. wear oh. like pink dolls cars superheroes teddy mm. bears like it's just it's, it's yeah. a lot actually. It's and as actually as a kid um I never actually realized um, when I was younger <laughs> when I was younger um, I think it was our fifth birthday so I've got a twin brother Okay. Um, his name is Yenela. Okay, hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, Yenela and I, it was our fifth birthday. Yeah, our fifth, if not sixth, one of those two. The lightest. And we were asked what we want for our birthday. Hey, wow. Yenela <laughs> says cars. What do I get? Oh, I said this actually. I got a baby doll. And it was fine. Shab, worry about it. It's my birthday. It's zooming, 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 zooming. It's nice, it's nice. Get to my cousins now. I'm showing them. We're showing them our gift. Hey, boo. Why, Yolisa, do you have a doll? Why do you have a doll? It's, hey, boo. It's normal to me. Like, I never yeah. saw anything wrong with it. And I grew up with many females around me. But I never saw anything wrong with it until someone indoctrinated it in me that, Yolisa, you're gay. You're gay. Whatever. 
And I never saw anything wrong before, but you yeah. know, after they said that, that's when I was like, okay. It's I'm a thing. And then I felt ashamed even. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah exactly. Like it was a lot. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Like it was a lot. It's a thing, like even chilling with cousins and you're like watching the TV and you're watching like superhero movies and they're like, oh, X Men is my favorite. Oh, oh, I like this one, I like this one. Meanwhile, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, I like Storm, bro. <laughs> Storm <laughs> is so true. cool. She's That's like true. number one. Da, 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 da. Even when we're playing like video games and she's yeah. like, wrestling, like WrestleMania. Da, 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 da. Mm. And I would like literally go and choose like a female, a female, yeah. a female like wrestler and they'd be like, I go, why, why, why are you choosing a girl? No, 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 no. And I'm like, guys, come on, like, yeah. this yeah. is what I want to choose. Yeah. So what? So what? So what? Yeah. You won't ask it. Okay. Um, so I think to just wrap up the video, mm. could we maybe discuss ways going forward? Because like, what's the point of us having this conversation sure. if we're not going to come to a specific conclusion? Could we maybe discuss ways in which we, as the next generation, can usher in a new Please. sort of culture? So, guys, please comment. We want to hear what you guys please, think. Guys, tweet definitely. us at us. Um, tweet us at us, you know. Like, this talk can't end here. No. It can't. It really you can't. know, it's a, it's a talk that affects us all. And it's a talk that we need to look into and we need to understand from now onwards. Because, you know, we're growing up. She's going to be at us. Yeah. True. Yeah. We're going to have to have these conversations with our kids. So even your partners, make sure your partner shares the same view as you. Yeah. Like oh. make sure from the get go. Oh, love this here. Yo. Hey, you might be here yeah, right now. Like even, you can't <laughs> <lips here>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go. Uh, but, <laughs> but you might be here right yeah. now. But when it comes to matters of utando, mm. huh? and then you have to raise your kids, and then it's it's conflict. You've lost the plot. No. You've Dad. lost the plot. Dad. Guys, honestly, like. Some of us have really had like traumatic experiences based on this whole notion or this whole construct of masculinity. So we need to not forget that we are the generation. A generation C T or Chinjo is supposed to come with us. Yeah. We should be the change, honestly, as cliche as it might sound. Yeah, we should be the change yeah. that that we want to see. So going in or like starting afresh. Literally, we need to educate each other, educate this upcoming generation. But no, man, internet, 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 things can change. So you join us, into yeah, but guys, we are the change. Honestly, <sighs> but yeah, please do comment and tell us. Yeah, we'd like, We'd to, like to start like a whole discussion. Like, let's make this, let's make this our thing as a millennial, <laughs> please. And maybe like down the line, we could have like a video where we have like a panel just discussing this based on the we comments and the questions that you guys have have on our page, on our channel. So just post like any questions that you want to know about like, um, like experiences that we went through and stuff. Yeah. And we'll definitely like create another video to answer those questions. Assembly. Yeah. yeah, but wait, do, yes. don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Too. That's it. <laughs> also, follow us on our social media platforms Instagram, Zande Channel, Twitter, and Zande Channel, Facebook, Zande Channel. You know the drill. Well. And follow us on our individual social media platforms. Yeah, Lisa underscore Boswa. <laughs> and Slay underscore Gwanyo. Boomsy underscore non in a in. And of course, Pizza. At Pizza, my boss at Q I Q A M A B O Z A. Thank you, bye! <laughs> <laughs>